Right, this video is about the colour changes that occur when we use universal indicator uh, and we are neutralising a solution in the beaker. Um, this scale here is the pH scale. The colours are the colours that universal indicator will go as the pH changes. So we can look at the colour of our solution and work out the pH of the solution. When we know the pH, we then know whether it's acidic or basic and how strong it is. So putting in a good squirt there of a universal indicator into the beak, we see that this is red, and red on the scale is a pH of 1 or 0, and that is a strong acid. And your job in questions like this is to link all of these things to explain how a universal indicator works. Um, when you get a red colour, the pH is going to be 0, or 1, or 2. All those pHs show that our solution is a strong acid. So usually we just say a pH of 1 or 0 for strong acid. And um, that tells us that there is a lot more of the hydrogen ion, which is the acid particle, much, much more of the hydrogen ion than the hydroxide ion. And I've got this here in percentage to show you that it's a concentration. The concentration of the hydrogen ion in the beaker is billions of times stronger or higher than the concentration of hydroxide ions, which is present in tiny amounts. If we take out one million water molecules, probably one of the particles would turn out to be a hydroxide ion whereas there are billions of hydrogen ions in there. So, let us carry on our neutralisation reaction. Remember, neutralisation or neutral, uh, usually neutralisation is usually worth an A mark somewhere in our paper. So, let's continue our neutralisation of the acid by adding a base. I'm using sodium hydroxide here. And the next colour should be orange. Whoops. So, whoops. Okay, it went through orange. Now, the colours of the universal indicator are, of course, the colours of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. These two here at the end there are purple colours, and in an exam, they usually just refer to this purple. So, we've, got, we've been through orange fairly quickly, shot through to yellow. Um, so, orange... and yellow, they show an, uh, a pH of 3 to 6, and these are described as weak acids. And the situation with the concentration of the hydrogen ions and the hydroxide ions has got much closer together. It may be as little as 5 or 10 times as much hydrogen ions as hydroxide, but definitely still more hydrogen ions, making it more acidic. Now, tricky part here, we'll be bringing this to neutral. I might use a weaker base here just to get this to the neutral situation, which will be the green colour. There we are. I think we've got a reasonable green colour there. Maybe just yellowing a bit again. Okay, when we get to green, green is really where the um, scale, the pH scale starts, and green represents pH of 7, not about 7 above or below 7, but 7. And at that stage, we have a neutral solution, a solution that is not acid or base. And at that stage, and only at that stage, we have the hydrogen ion concentration equal to the hydroxide concentration. It's neither an acid nor a base. As you can imagine, if I add more base, we are going to end up with more hydroxide and hydrogen ion, and our solution will be basic. Whoops, I see it's snuck back to yellow. I'm going to add ammonia to try and get to the blue colour. So there's our green again, our neutral. 
sometimes takes a little while for these things to react, which is why the colour snuck back. So we should be moving from the green through the green, it's getting a bit bluey. Here we are. Basically now we have a blue colour. So here we have blue. And pH is going to be between 8 and 11. All of those pHs, 8, 9, 10, 11, they are all weak acid pH. And over here, I'm going to keep the hydrogen ion on the left hand side and the hydroxide ion on the side, but I'm going to flip that mathematical larger than symbol around the other way. So at this stage, the concentration of the hydroxide ion is maybe 5 to 10 times higher, maybe 100, maybe 1,000 times higher than the hydrogen ion, which is acidic, so with more of the base hydroxide particle, the solution is basic. So I'm going to go back to sodium hydroxide and move into those two purple colours. It'll probably shoot straight through to the, to the violet. No, not bad. We did get a shade of indigo there, but now we are right through to the ready purple, which is violet. In an exam, those colours are just called um, purple. So down here, the colour will change no more, no matter how much we add. And the strong base pH is 12, 13, 14, but if you want if you're asked the pH of a strong base, just go straight to the end of the scale. 40, very strong base like Drano or oven cleaner. And here the description becomes strong base. And over here we have that the hydrogen ions now are a tiny amount and the hydroxide ions their concentration or percent is uh, a billion times bigger than the hydrogen ion, now making it a strong alkali. Okay, now getting most of all of that will be worth an excellence mark, but if you can get for one colour, like three of these things linked together like that and that and that, or one whole line, you're going to be scoring achievement or merit marks, or maybe if you get um, for two colours, you get three of those things linked together, the, the colour, pH, the description, and the particles involved, which is where the excellence bits are, then you're going to get some merit marks as well. So don't just think that you've got to get it all to get excellence. Uh, there are other achievement and merit marks available in there. So I hope that's been uh, helpful to you. And I'll say bye-bye when I press the right